In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can use free software to stack and edit your Milky Way photographs. So we start by double clicking Star Images. And we'll select our light frames. And we'll select all our light frames and click Open. And once Equator has loaded those, then click on noise images and double click and we'll select our dark frames as you can see this has a red indicator saying we need to put a value in here so if we double click output give the name of our file we want to save click save now we go to our different functions of the application and the first one we're going to select is the alignment for composition. We want to freeze ground, we want to put a tick in the selective box. Next function is the sky region, this is a masking function. We want to make sure we have a tick in auxiliary highlight and what we do is we use this mask tool to paint out the sky. And as the sky is painted out, all the stars, the brightest stars that are in the image, as you can see, will change from red to green. If you accidentally go over the ground, just take your mask, right click, and you can paint that back again. Okay, now we're going to select auto brightness, high dynamic range. Remove dynamic noises. We're going to ignore reduce distortion effects and reduce light pollution. Then we're going to select enhanced starlight and merge pixels. And we'll hit start. Sequitur will now start to stack the dark frames and the light frames to produce an image. And Sequitur is now completed. I click on close. This is the stacked and aligned image. Now if we look at that, We compare that to an original frame, one of our original light frames. We zoom in to 50%. We can already see the differences. As you can see, the noise has been reduced massively here compared to a single frame of one of our light frames. So now we're going to move on to editing. Just bring out a little bit more from that image. So if we go to the folder where our photographs are, and we select our output image, and right click on it, and choose edit. Or you can use the keyboard and hold down shift and press return. This is the editor view of Photoscape X. And the first thing we're going to do is select HDR. This will produce a high dynamic range version of our original photograph or our stacked photograph. We're going to reduce it slightly though by using these two sliders because as you can see here it's a little bit of unnatural looking banding. We'll take the radius down to about 50. And the banding is reduced somewhat. I'll take the amount of the tool down to about 20. There. It's much more realistic looking. Before. 
the after HDR effect. As you can see, we've already punched out the Milky Way slightly, and the dark lanes of the Milky Way are now beginning to show slightly better. So we'll click Apply. The next one we will select is Auto Levels. As you can see, by using Auto Levels, we've reduced a lot of the light pollution and the orange colour, and we've improved the white balance of the image. From here to here, we'll click Apply. There are one or two other things we can do to help bring some more de detail out of our image. So if we click on the colour button up here, we expand our masks, and select Mask Mode 2. This is a gradient mask. If I click on Show Mask, as you can see at the moment, the mask is covering this region. Well, we want to actually change the sky, so we click Invert Mask. We take this tool and we slide the mask down to the horizon. Now, if we untick show mask, we can then see the sky and do some editing. One of the first things I'm going to try and do is improve clarity, and I'm going to drag the slider to 100. Then go into the deepen slider, and I'm going to drag that. about 60. And that's made the sky darker and as you can see here now the Milky Way is much more prominent. From this to this. Now I'm going to click apply. From here one other option we can use is the dehaze tool. If we click on dehaze it's a little bit strong. Milky Way's disappeared a bit. So I'm going to lighten the shadows slightly. Reduce the amount. Reduce the amount of dehaze a little bit more. And now I can see what I've done. I can reduce how much I've lightened the shadows. Make it look a little bit more realistic. There. I think that will be okay. Just a tiny change. It's enough to just make the image a little bit more punchy. And we'll click apply. And we'll click save. In this case I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to keep the file name, just save it as a JPEG. Now if we compare This image, which we have just done and edited in Photoscape, with an original frame from our camera. <laughs> yes. The light pollution and the effects of haze in the sky have been markedly reduced. The beach and the beach grass are now a lot more realistic looking. And the sky is a lot more pleasing to look at. So let's look in closer. So if we zoom into 50% on both images, as we can see, the Milky Way area is much more pronounced. Here it's barely visible through the glow. And the noise has markedly been reduced. And it's a much nicer photograph. Of course, all of the selections that I've used in Photoscape, you can change and adjust to your own tastes. Now, there'll be links to these applications in the description.